Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a very easy vanilla custard recipe. Now there are definitely uh, different ways of making custard and different recipes but today I just want to show you a very easy go-to custard recipe that you can make in no time. Custard is one of those things that are really delicious and really easy to make and uh, this recipe will last three to four days well covered with some plastic wrap, making sure the plastic wrap is touching, touching the custard um, for three to four days. You just want to make sure you give it a nice whisk before using it for whatever you are using it for. Now a couple of ideas that you can use custard for are some mini fruit tarts. You can use them in profiteroles, eclairs, trifles. You can even use them for cream horns which is very very delicious and um, it's one of those things that is just so wonderful. So the ingredients we'll be needing here are very few. What I have here is some milk and heavy cream, some sugar. Here we have some cornstarch and some salt, some egg yolks, and some vanilla extract. You will also need a medium saucepan and let's get to making our custard. Okay, so into our saucepan, we are going to add in all of our ingredients except for our heavy cream and milk. And now we are going to give these ingredients a good whisk. Okay, so you want to make sure that your ingredients are very well mixed together. And one other important thing, you want to make sure that you have a good quality vanilla extract very important. If you have a vanilla bean, you can uh, use one as well instead of the vanilla extract or even some vanilla paste will work really well as well. Okay, so this looks good. Now we are going to add in our milk and heavy cream mixture and once again whisk very well. Okay, so once again, you want to give your mixture a very good whisk, making sure everything is mixed together and well combined here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this to my stovetop over medium heat and we are going to stir probably for about five, six minutes. Once it starts to uh, gently bubble, you will start to continuously stir for about another two minutes and you will notice that it becomes nice and thick. So let's get to cooking our custard. Okay, so on medium heat, you want to stir your mixture every 30 seconds until it comes up to a gentle bubble. Okay, so our custard looks amazing. As you can see, it is nice and thick. And as it sits at room temperature and when you place it in your fridge, if you're not using it on the same day, it will definitely thicken even more. That's why it's important if you're keeping your custard in your fridge to make sure that you whisk it well before using it. Okay, so this is great. I'm going to remove my custard off of my stove top and then we are going to let it sit for about half an hour. Okay, so I have removed my saucepan off of my stove top, and now what we're going to do is leave it at room temperature here, probably for about five to 10 minutes, and then we are going to try a little bit, and we are going to place this into a bowl, covering it with plastic wrap, making sure the plastic wrap is touching the custard, and then we are ready to refrigerate it and wait until it's ready to be used. Okay, so my custard has been sitting here at room temperature for 10 minutes. Now you just want to make sure you give it a whisk because it does start to create a little film or skin on top. So whisk that well. Now at this point, if you feel that you want to run your custard, through a sieve. You can do that if you feel that you have like a little bit of chunks or something in your custard. You can do that and um, 
it'll make sure that all of your custard is smooth. But I feel pretty comfortable with my custard right now, so what I'm going to do is just place it into a bowl. We are going to try a little bit, and then we're going to cover it with some plastic wrap. Okay, so let's give it a little try here. It's just perfect, everything you would want in a nice vanilla custard. And it's so easy to put together. So now let's place it into our bowl. Okay, so there you have it. Our custard is ready and it's also ready to be placed in the fridge. Now, I'm not using it today. I will be using it tomorrow in a future recipe, so stay tuned. And as I mentioned in the video, this will keep very well for three to four days in your fridge, covered just as you see it here. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye, everyone.